Oh, this is Black Knight. Back at it again. Joining a bomber group. I stole one of the back planes. Again, trying to communicate with Team Fusion. I'm trying to fix multiple player spawn base. To make sure that if you take a bomber group and two or three flights of bombers. Um, that they follow the command of the lead plane. And the player is the lead plane. And the player is the lead plane. So that when we get over tar target, we can drop our bombs. And all the planes will drop their bombs. Um, same thing goes for spawning in fighter squadrons and multiple fighter squadrons on multiple player making sure that the the player that spawns in the flights and is the A plane or the elite plane that they the group follows them right now nothing it doesn't work but I've, I've done some crazy workarounds by you know spreading out the group jumping into the lead plane fighter or the second plane seems to have con command of the lead in the fighter groups you don't as a player you don't get control of the spawn groups so uh, guys if you can fix that that'd be great um, I've tried to communicate to people Probably the guy that's on here the most flying, trying to work out multiple player issues, which nobody seems to want to work out. Um, it, if you solve this and the lead plane, and I can get the lead plane and everybody follows my directions, then the concept of post-mission loads are null and void. You don't even have to have post-mission loads. for uh, bomber operations or for creating large fighter squadrons to fly cover. Example, if I were the lead plane and all of these guys opened their bomb bay doors and dropped when I dropped, then I could bring in my four, my two flights of bombers and then if Anonymous jumped on just two players. He could bring in the 24 Spitfires and we could actually re make a British Circus mission happen. And we wouldn't need any other extra flyers. If people wanted to come in, they could even jump in our planes while we fly over an airbase. They could join the mission as it's going along, kind of no different than a co-op, but or multiple player. So, for example, if Anonymous got on and he wanted to be any one of these bombers, he could jump into Gravesend or East Church and just wait till the group appeared and grab one of the planes. It could make online play that much better. Um, and that's why, you know, I sent you that must message buzzsaw. And, you know, I've got close to almost 20,000 hours of flight time in this game and working with files and trying to create something unique, especially for the multiple player. I know that what Team Fusion has done is some good work, but you don't need all of that coding. It can be done right within the core structure if you give us the capability at spawn, at the spawn base, to bring in our flights and those flights follow the flight leader. Then I don't need to do any post mission loads. I can call my bombers in at an air spawn, they follow me to target. I open my bomb bay doors, they open their bomb bay doors, I drop, they drop. While Anonymous can grab, you know, 20 fighters and bring them and have them engage, you know, 
engage the fighters as they come in to knock us out of the air. I really wish somebody from Team Fusion would get on comms on Team Speak, whether it be Artis or Oscar, and just go through this scenario with me and and tell you what's wrong with wh why are not the AI following the lead plane if you are the lead plane at the spawn point base. Right now, the only way I could get into the lead plane is if I fly up next to him, create a far formation, hit eject, hit escape, jump into the first pilot seat, and then I'm the plane. That's ludicrous. If I spawn in in the number or in the first plane in a flight, and I'm A, I should be the lead plane. Everybody should be following me. I don't know. Anyways, I feel like sometimes I'm talking to myself and trying to help you guys get the multiple player working more towards a co-op single mission and being really, really unique to a person's experience. But anyways, I'll still enjoy Cliffs of Dover. Just, just think this this change could change everything for what even I'm trying to design. Again, I would eliminate, I would eliminate Bomber Command and Fighter Command because I no longer need them. I wouldn't even have to do, I wouldn't have to do, you know, the 216 separate mission loads. All of those flights could be done by individual players. I'm, and I might be able to reduce it down to just one flight of bombers. I don't even, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even need them. I would just need recon of where I'm bombing to. Kind of like what they do over at TWC when Flood created all of that crazy coding for cover fire to, to get cover planes. And Flood, I don't even think you need to go that crazy. You just need to figure out how to get the spawn bases to give you that lead plane and once you have the lead plane when you start and you create all of your flights of bombers you just need to have these guys follow his directions when he opens his bomb bay doors and when he drops his bomb you can get rid of all of that cover aircraft coding bullshit because you don't need it. The structure is already within the game. It's just getting the lead plane at the spawn base to be the lead plane for a connected player. And then that lead plane, everybody, everybody every subordinate plane follows his directions. So when he opens his bomb bay doors, they open theirs. When he drops, they drop. I don't know. Seems really easy to fix, but since I'm not a coder, and I don't even know where to find it in the structure of the dills, I'd have tried to fix it already by now. Anyway. I'll upload this file. I'm going to end this, end the recording right now and upload the recording. Um, again, I shouldn't have to jump into a subordinate plane every time to be a part of a large bomber group.
I should be at a spawn base able to grab, i.e., that first plane. So if I grabbed a base and I was at the air base here and I created my Wellingtons or whatever planes, let's say Tomahawks, clicked OK and I created flight one, flight two, and then flight three. I guess I'm not at an air spawn base. So again, right here, flight one, six planes, two, six planes, and so on. And then send them in my formation. When I come in, I should be that lead plane. But I'm not. They don't follow me. So it took 20 minutes for the bombers to get here. Oh, on fuel load. Buzzsaw, all I was asking for on the fuel load was that on the spawn base, you should be able to set their fuel load to full. But when you come in, they should have full fuel like you do. For some reason, those guys are just wearing out their fuel in, in the flight. Some of these bomber groups coming from way back take 20 minutes to get to that area. So I'm at Whitstable, west side of, or east side of East Church. It took me 20 minutes to get here. So I have to wait 10 minutes before I spawn my group at Chelmsford for fighter cover. So, for example, if I duck out of this plane, and I go and I kill that guy, and I come up to Chelmsford, and I grab a series of Spitfires. Let's go 5B HF Lates. Let's uh, click OK. No, let's let's do loadout. Let's do full fuel. All of these guys that I'm bringing in should have full fuel. So now the goal is to get into the lead plane. which he should be the next guy in the list. I should be able to fly next to him. And he's the B, he's the B plane. I'm the A plane, but nobody follows me. So I don't have command over this group. I should be the lead plane, and I'm not. I'm the third one. So I'm going to hit Jack and count two down. One, two. I hope I'm the lead plane now. I don't think I am. So I'm going to fly up next to him. And I'm going to switch my seat list. I'm 
Oh, I killed them all. All dying. Make sure they're all dying and I'll try again. That's the struggle that I'm having is that I'd like to bring in those flights, but I can't. So I'm going to kill them all. By selecting the plane, I can kill them all. They all die. I don't know if that's something within my... I gotta wait till they're all dead. And the list is clear. I'll create one. And then eject. Hopefully I'll be able to catch up to the bomber group. I should. We'll try that line of breast scenario. So we'll go seven, six, six. We'll create line of breast. Now again, I'm even though I'm the lead, I'm not the lead. But I'm gonna command them to uh, get a far spacing. And I'm gonna sit next to this guy and I have to figure out which one he is in the list. He should be the one closest to me. Should be that guy right there. So I'm gonna hit eject, hit escape, grab the list, and I'm gonna say he's that guy. And I'm not. One, two, three, four up from me. So I'm gonna open, hit eject, hit escape. One, two, three, four. They're all dying. But these guys are following me. Now I'll wait till they all die. And round and round we go. So I can't bring in the number of flights I would like to bring in. Just wait for these guys to clear the list. It, because if if I had a number on, I, I shouldn't even have to worry about the number of who is the lead. If I spawn in an air group, I should be the lead. So if I call in this six by six.
Now there's the lead. That's the B plane on the A plane, but I'm not the lead. So to get into the lead, I gotta pull off this funky shit. So that's B, I'm A, but he seems to be the commander of the group. So the only way I can seem to get him. I just killed everybody. Those guys are following me. I guess I'll just kill them. So, as I commit Harry Carey with all of these planes, just waiting for him to clear the list, the bomber group now is over the channel. So here's the, the struggle that I've been having that uh, the reason why I sent you all of those messages in in So at an air spawn base, the player isn't the lead plane. So is there some way we can correct this, that the player, when he spawns in his group, he is the lead plane? Just trying to figure out out of the list how to figure out the seats. Who's who? It's got to be the closest plane. That's what I always thought. But. He's the closest plane to me. Now, if I change seat categories, he's the closest plane to me. Let's see, but I can't tell if I'm an A or B. I'm going to check my settings to make sure that there's a way to grab the planes without killing them. If that's within the core settings of the game. Anyways, this is all I was trying to do and trying to tell you that the lead plane in the spawn base, you're not the lead plane as a client or a person coming into the game in a multiple player. Thanks for watching. Black Knights signing out.